but the fun of it was I could I'd go out and choose off the guys in the roadster and blow their ass off, and uh, that was unheard of. And we did a little street racing now and then. Sometimes you'd have two or three thousand people show up, but uh, that was a lot of fun. But uh, well, describe that to me. I mean, I've heard a few stories of street racing, and um... well, we uh, when we. When we used to, we used to go to every once in a while, we'd go to uh, Pasadena because the Pasadena guys all seemed like to us, they were all rich guys. Pasadena Roadster Club, they all had beautiful cars and we'd go up there and they had a road all picked out that was way off in the nowhere and we'd go up there and blow their ass off and come on home. The guy I started to think of earlier, his name was Nellie Taylor. He was from uh, Santa, uh, Santa Fe Springs, or in that area, and uh, that's my cat. He's not dying; he's just mad. And uh, but um, he was one of the first guys that I know of that started making stroker crankshafts. And uh, but um, uh, John Taylor, John Ryan, hmm? John Ryan, John Ryan, who? John Ryan and Taylor, Ryan and Taylor. Oh, well that's what it is now. Nellie Taylor uh, was a clever guy, but um, we would go up and race those guys. And like they had really fast cars and I could, I would go up there with my 39 and beat the Roadsters and that was unheard of. And I had more fun in my 39 that, because it was really a sleeper. It looked just like a 39, but Sitting inside of the car, we, me and my passenger, we could reach out underneath the running boards and take the header plugs off, the header plugs I'd made. I had a dual fuel system in it that I could switch it from aviation fuel to regular pump gas while we were going. And so if we'd see somebody with their ro gleaming roadster running down the street, we could pull up to a signal and switch this car over and wait till the signal changed and blow their ass off before they knew what happened to them. <laughs> and, but um, I ran it a couple of times at the Dry Lakes. It was really funny. I had towed a customer of ours car to the lakes once with it. The guy had a, a Mercury that we had built an engine in and the we had trouble, broke the main bearing and uh, cap. And we'd never done that before. And it was really f something because I felt that his Mercury was faster than my 39. And so we had paid the entry fee, a buck, and it was a Rosetta timing. So I still had all of this junk in the rumble seat and everything. So I put the number on my car and ran it, th ran it through and got the fastest time of the year. That's who I thought that Brown guy, John Brown guy you were talking about because somebody by that name used to have a 36 coupe that was held the record or something and we we beat the record and and uh, they weren't going to give us a trophy because they said I didn't belong and finally the people that ran the Rosetta thing about two weeks later called up and said oh they looked back to their old records and found my name and yes I was a member and so they did send me a trophy. But, that was always a big joke, but... Um, did, you belong, did you belong to a club? What? I belonged to a club in Long Beach called the Dolphins. Uh, 